$100,000 on the line as we dive into AFL Stream King featuring Fortnite and it's all for charity. Welcome, good evening, and we're looking forward to a good night of Fortnite tonight. My name is Elfish Guy. We'll be taking you through all of the action alongside Aussie Antics, and it is fantastic to have you here watching as well. Enough discussion, Aussie Antics, as we head into match number one. This is the AFL Stream King featuring Fortnite. I have to say out of everyone, maybe Chances though. We saw that Chances had seven fish earlier. If he hasn't had to use them fresh, Jordan taking the high ground though with the grappler. I talked about how good that mobility is. Takes the high ground off fresh. And now Fresh has to play more of a defensive game. But honestly, he has this game at least the top two in the bag if he doesn't go aggressive. But Fresh, known for it, puts on a show. An RPG in that back pocket. So great item to have when you're on the high ground. Yeah, this is going to a heal up. Look at all these players, and this zone is just closing out now. Like, it's going to end. So, in 55 seconds, you see that counter in the bottom right. The game Ooh. is going to end. Fresh's game might end a little bit sooner, though, but he takes the high ground back off Jordan. He has to use his grappler, but he needs to be careful. Jordan keeps going for it. Fresh has only 37 builds left. Jordan and Fresh, obviously, ex teammates from RNG, the original biggest squad in the region. Obviously, Twins and Fresh both seen a massive success since they've split. And now Jordan's got the high ground now. Can he find this angle down onto Fresh? Has the rocket in hand, only has one rocket for it. This is going to go to heal off here and I think Fresh being forced down could actually be for his benefit. He's giving it up. If he can get into a box, he's going to close this out. J Jordan, for example, to just have the comparison, has no meds in his inventory. I have to call this one as being Fresh or Chances. I think Chances still has those fish Fresh and then Fresh going very, very low here. Hasn't been eliminated just yet. He's actually picked himself up another elimination, but Fresh, like you say, he's going to just have to commit to the heal off here. So is Alec. He's got a med kit. But the fish is going to be maybe a little bit better in this kind of a situation. We'll see how it turns out. We'll know in a moment. There's six players still alive. I think he missed time. This. I think Alex got the. I think he got the make it off a little bit too low. Jordan going down. Here we go. It's fresh. Got the fish. Here it is. It's coming down to the fish heal off. Chances. I see him in the corner. I knew we had those seven fish early. I think Chances knew that he needed these fish at the start. Alex can't get another med kit off. Trying to break into the wall to take down Cow. He goes down here. Cow gets the siphon from that elim. Chances. Chances has three fish left. Maybe for the first time in my career, I preemptively called the winner, and I was actually correct. Chances, absolute genius, knew that this was going to go to a heal off before the game even started. Prioritized the fish, and here it is. He's got one to go. The smile on his face. I think he knows he's got it, but no, Cow has the health advantage. The smile instantly turns into regret. <laughs> he doesn't realize somehow Cow had more meds. Cow even knew. You could see he thought he had it in the bag, what but the Cow bag? still had one fish and the bandage cannon. He knew he was going to pull this. off. Fresh has the six fish too, so he has that heal off advantage too. So he's now going for both matters. Like, look, we have the aggression, we got four limbs. Oh, but at the same time, he turns around and finds it. Tyrax goes down. That's another bandage cannon here too. They can't really, I mean, maybe Mitch Robinson might actually drop it and carry two bandage cannons. Two will bandage No, cannons? Fresh is going to run it. I think Fresh is dropping all his guns here and going pure heal off meta. It's worth it. He's going to wait here, maybe till zone closes out. So as you can see, we're on the eighth of nine zone. So 21 seconds. This one's going to completely close out and the game is going to end after that on ninth zone. So Fresh, I think, dropped all guns, giving them to Mitch. Yeah, Fresh has now just got a full load out of meds. I can almost guarantee it because Mitch has swapped and has all the guns. There it is. He has one pump in case he needs it, but he has five fish and the fully stacked bandage cannon. Ooh. That's going to be huge. I think they might have the heal off well. as Repulse God takes out Mitch. So that was very lucky that he dropped his meds. Otherwise, they would have gone over to Repulse God. Let's see how this one does turn on out for Mr. Fresh Asian right now. He is just hiding quite comfortably. No one pushing into his box just yet. And I mean, I've just got a perspective here we haven't shown on stream yet, but we have Muselk still in the sky in the helicopter. I kid you not. He is up there and he has five small fries and one flopper. There he is. He's, I wouldn't call it a meme strat. It was actually so well done Good as Cow you. goes down in the feed. So we have our second place team out of there. So Ken Fresh and Mitch Robinson, or again, Fresh is the only one left now, extend that lead. What about Muselk? Can Muselk manage to catch up, put some points on the board for his team? Well, I'd say he's in a good spot to do so, but hasn't managed to make it too far into the placements just yet. Things are starting to get a little bit interesting, though, and we are very quickly going to see this one disappear. So we have 13 uh -oh. people alive now, 12. No, Muselk's been spotted. He can't get out of here, though. If he gets knocked down, doesn't get the floor oh. for him. He missed times it, so all the fish go to waste. Unfortunately, just missed times it. It's Repulse God, who's the one who does it to him. He talked about Sweats taking on the meme strap, but he wants his points on the board. We've only just gone into placement, so top 15, we now top 10. So remember, it's top 15, top 10, top 5, for placement. So all these players now are gaining maximum. Repulse got on the high ground with six fish. I think this is the first time I've ever seen an end game with Repulse God with only one a limb. But 
fresh so far out of everyone I've seen. I think, no, he doesn't have the superior heal off. He's had to use a lot of fish here. Repulse got on the high ground, has that heal off superiority. He's got four floppers left. He's looking for players, but there's nothing he can do. He needs to just relax. He needs to just sit here and know and back the fact that he has the meds. Fresh going down, Jet Petch. We have Speedy with three fish, but again, Bandage Cannon though. Speedy has multiple meds here. If he uses the Bandage Cannon, but Repulse gets the limb on Eshes. No siphons, that doesn't top him up at all. Repulse got three players alive, three teams. They're all solos. Repulse going for the high ground. I think he's got more health than Speedy. He does, unless Speedy hits another med. Repulse will win this by one tick. Oh, no, Speedy has more meds. He has the floppers. And he wins it. He closes it out. Mr. Fresh Asian and Mitch Robinson leading from the front, but it's only by five points. We'll have to wait and see how things do end up turning on out because there are still 13 teams alive, still 13 teams kicking here in game number three, the final game of this $100,000 charity tournament put on by AFL. Jinx has four eliminations, so he went into this game on his seven point deficit to Fresh. He might be able to take it. He's got four floppers, three big ones. He's got the loadout to do it. I'm very, very impressed at how well Jinx has taken this Pro-Am. This is his second Pro-Am. He played in AO, but I think he did. Oh, he played in the first AO as well, potentially. But at the same time, the way he's led this duo and played it out like a competitive game shows how good of a teammate he is. Bit on the older side for the pros. He is very, very good at leading teams to victory. Actually, Fresh being on the back foot of that before being led to a very, very good performance in trios and squads together. So can he knock out his teammate from the top spot? He doesn't have the high ground like we've been seeing him go for every game, but that could play out in his favor. Has the floppers to go for this heal off? I have to think with those floppers, unless someone aggressively pushes into his box right now, he's going to get at least top five with that. And like I said earlier, placement right now is top 15, which they've already secured. Top 10, which they're about to 11 teams alive, top five and win. So if he can get in the top five, I don't even think Jinx needs to win this. I think top five might be enough. The question is, is it going to be enough? And that is not something that I can answer for you. It all really does come down to those standings when we get there after the game. But before we get there, they do still need to get into that top five that you mentioned. You say they're in a good spot, but things can change very, very quickly in a game like Fortnite. Repulse God, you can see, is being a bit of a mover and shaker with that infinite grapple, jumping up and down, trying to get some high ground. Your boy Dossie gets knocked down. That's by Parpy. We'll kind of not quite be finished off just yet. Parpy being pushed in by the circle. He will eventually fall, and the bandage cannon helping Parpy out to heal back on up. Code laser, so this is Dylan on high ground with the two floppers and the bandage cannon in hand. Like I said, those movers and shakers like three poles moving around the map. Also, used to be duos with Jinx. There's just OCE is just such a close affair. There's so many big names in this one. I can't see Jinx where he is. He might be in a safe spot. Parfi coming here, taking out trapped. Chances is in there as well. Chances going for some of the heal offs. I can't see Jinx anymore, so I don't know if he's safe beneath above this. There he is above this on almost full health. So Jinx might be able to play this one out. Parfi jumps down, gets taken out. We have to see where Jinx is in all of this. Dylan on above. I still see him in there. Jinx is about to secure a top five. That's seven teams alive. Six teams alive. If you don't see Jinx's name pop up on the left next, he is going to get top five placements. Has the heal off to do this. There's so many builds protecting him from top to bottom. I think he's going to be able to close this one out. There we have Dylan on the absolute high ground. He's only got the bandage cannon and two floppers left. I think with Jinx and the amount of fish that he had, I think he has the advantage. This heal off Serpent's dropped down, taking more players out. Alec around the corner goes down. Three people alive. Two people alive. It's Dylan versus Jinx. If Jinx gets this win, I think he's going to close out the whole tournament. One flopper. That's it. 90 health. 80 health, he's looking to see if he can find Dylan, he's looking down, but no, Dylan is up, he's above him, has the bandage cannon, but Dylan's gonna close it out, Jinx isn't gonna win this one, he goes down at the very end of the last second, Land. oh my gosh, Code Laser on top again in a tournament. It's, oh, I think I know who it is. Do I want to spoil it? Do you want to spoil it? No, we don't want to spoil okay, it. Okay, I think I know who it is, and we called it potentially the back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back -to -back for one of them. I think sure. it might have been a family affair, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. No, it's not Alec out of nowhere. I don't know. Alec and James Cousins. <laughs> 33 <laughs> points by one point. By one point. They just flew under the radar. Okay. That is the end of the show, though. That has been AFL Stream King featuring Fortnite. This is Ozzy Antics. My name is Elfish Guy, and we are going to bid you a very, a very good night. $100,000 has been given away to charity, and we hope to see you next time.